There's definitely a need in this hobby for a universal throttle. <laughs> So I'm JD, uh, I've been involved uh, really since day one. When my, the funny thing is when my father started the command station project, or when he started TCS, it's because he wanted to make a command station, and uh, we decided, well, maybe we'll make a decoder, and that'd be easier and faster to get to market. And 20 years later, uh, we've got lots of decoders, but we're still making a command station. So it's um, important to me to get it done because this is really like a, a life for a, it's been a long process, like a 20 year process, kind of a dream come true that this is the product we want to make and get out there. I got started here at TCS almost two years ago at this point. Um, and not too long after I was onboarded at TCS, I learned about the command station project. I'm currently the project manager for both the throttle and the command station. Um, so I've been overseeing our development team for those last few months. So the command station and the throttle that we're developing aim to harness today's technology to make things more easy for the average mono railroader to get into DCC. DCC isn't exactly particularly easy to understand initially if you're getting on board to it. Um, it took me a while to get up to speed. It took me a couple months to get up to speed on DCC, just the basics and then moving into the more particulars of the decoders and you have a lot of inconsistencies um, you know every decoder manufacturer does things differently every command station does things differently so finding a way to be able to unify that and make it you have one system one throttle you can use to control any system so you don't have to learn a new system if you're going somewhere else um, and the aim of the project in its entirety is to make things much easier to onboard people There's definitely a need in this hobby for a universal throttle. And that's what I'm really excited about for this throttle. So you've got all these other systems, all these other throttles out there, but they're all proprietary. So you can go buy X throttle, but it's not gonna work at your club or vice versa. So what guys tend to do is they, um, they'll all buy the same stuff. You know, whatever you have at your club, that's what you buy, but you may not like it, but that's just what works at your club. So our throttle the, is a universal throttle in that it'll work with anybody's command station. And that's a lot of the beauty of LCC and the Y protocol is that using those protocols and standards, things aren't proprietary anymore. It's an open standard that anybody can design to. Also, the throttle is a physical throttle. And I mean, I've grown up with smartphones. I've grown up with electronics. You know, I have no problems using a, a phone to control trains. I'm always looking at it and you gotta slide it or push it and you might accidentally as you're moving your hand around it just bump something, you set the speed up to full when you didn't mean it and it's it works, it's cool, but it's not very practical and you have to constantly look at it. So having a throttle where you can just hold it at your side and push the button, and you know what you're doing, getting that tactical tactile feedback is is very nice and I think there's a big need for that in the market. You compare our system, our throttle, to another throttle. It's got better balance, it fits in the palm of your hand, um, it's not clunky, it's not tethered to anything with a wire. So that's that's another thing that's important to me in the same way that just not being connected to anything is important as well. It's comfortable. So a lot of the uh, systems on the market today use proprietary technology to communicate. Um, so certain specific bands of radio frequencies, uh, specific brands of infrared. Um, there's a couple other examples, but I don't remember what they are offhand. But anyway, it's a lot of proprietary technology, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And so what we've done is we've decided to say, forget about that. We're not doing anything proprietary. Uh, we're going to use a known solid standard that's been out there. Um, so you don't have to get a special you know, black box that does something specific. You can interface this system with your home Wi-Fi. You can go to somebody else's Wi-Fi. You can just talk directly between them. It doesn't matter, it's very portable, and Wi-Fi allows us to be able to integrate in a lot of ways that other systems can't because of their proprietary nature. So. 
LCC is another really cool integration. Uh, it's interesting to see how that technology is coming along as well. Um, you may already know that we can control switches, switch throws and stuff like that through DCC, but that ties up um, time on your, your, your control bus. So instead of having everything running through your DCC, through your track, um, you can have a separate bus which frees up your DCC system so that it can communicate better, faster, to more stuff at the same time. Um, and you can have your LCC have that be its own network. Um, so I, for me, when I'm going to build my next layout, I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to have uh, my DCC running, and I'm also going to have LCC. I'm going to have LCC control my turnouts. And our throttle can do both because it's all integrated in the same system. Probably the biggest thing is the universalness of it. So it'll work with anybody's layout accessories. You know, previously, if you want to have, if you have a brand X and you have their control systems for their layout, you can only buy their block detectors, only their signal system. Uh, it can only communicate and talk with their stuff because it's all proprietary. Whereas the TCS command station using the LCC protocol can talk to anybody's. And I think that's kind of a fear that a lot of people have is, okay, I'm going to invest all this money and this product line, but well, what happens if that company goes under? Well, you're out of luck and you better hope your stuff doesn't break. Um, and also gives the user more options. Like let's say a uh, company X has one feature that you really like and company Y has another feature they like. Well, now you can't have both. But with the LCC command station from TCS, you can have both. Um, we're, we're doing things in a way that has not been done up to this point. We're interfacing new technologies, and we're taking um, we're taking user experience and user user interactions to a different level. Um, with the larger screen on our throttles, allowing you to be able to read basic information in full text. I'm just kidding. I mean, throttles and command stations have been around. DCC's been around for a long time now. So, how do you come to a into a market that's already old? but win market share. And you do that by bringing new features and new things and improve on what's already there. So there's gonna be some elements that I've experienced other users, you know, talking to me through tech support, um, features that they'd wanna have or things that would make it easier for them to use, uh, which we're gonna be implementing in our system. And I've made it a point to be that way. So features like that are important to me and I think should be important to other people as well to make things easier.